Welcome to Tea Talk Toronto. I'm your girl, Naim Nicole, sipping and spilling the tea on this lovely midday on a Friday. Yes, it's 12.06 p.m. We're going to sip and spill some tea. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, come and sip and spill with me. Hi there, and welcome to Tea Talk with your host, Naim Nicole. Subscribe, like, and share. Tea Talk, where we sip and spill that tea on celebrity gossip, pop culture, and mainstream media. She'll be sipping and spilling that tea. Tea Talk with Nayimka Nicole. Welcome back. So it is the middle of the day and I'm having a midday drink. Let me tell all you. So there is mango, blueberry, um, green grapes. And frozen icy with a little lemony taste and a little average adult beverage. <laughs> okay. It tastes good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, it tastes good. I was like, what is this? As I go and do the show, I'll um, surprise you with a drink. I'm like, mm. okay. So anyways, it's Friday. It's fantastic Friday, but I also want to bring some things to you guys' attention that has been trending here in the news. And the reason why this is important to me is like outside is getting nice, the kids are playing, and ever too often these are the things that are happening, okay? So this is a recent news clip, and then we're going to talk about it. Another update on that breaking news story near Humber Bay Park. Here is a live shot from the scene of vehicle hitting a parked flatbed truck in the area of Lakeshore and Superior Avenue over the course of the evening, along with continuing coverage on CP24. This recently happened. This happened yesterday, and it's so unfortunate, you know. Um, apparently, as it says in the news clip, the person run the red light, okay? Scott Baptiste um, says speed is one of four main cause of causes sorry, of traffic collision along with aggression, distraction, and impairment, okay? Um, according to a data that was collected from 2014 uh, to 2021, as you can see there, in the eight years of police data, nearly 9,000 reported injury, okay? Collision with 43 deaths. Okay, so I've lost my ex-boyfriend um, last year in a motorcycle accident. May he rest in peace, DJ Leas. Um, it was 3.30 in the morning when he lost control of Shepherd and Allen Road. I'll be talking more about it in the upcoming because it's going to be one year. Okay. Um, also want to brought to the attention that now here in Canada, as of April 22nd, the speed limit is going to be 110 on certain highways like the queen elizabeth um the one from ottawa new market london to Sar what is it sarnia like so for me it's quite disturbing to see that speed is one of the number one cars but at the same time they are um increasing you guys think i'm lying so I did a video back then um, when I was talking about Barry, introducing Barry and what's the traffic like, et cetera, et cetera. That was just a clip. So I'm just disturbed by that. You know, like I said, you turn on the news and so many things is happening. If speed is one of the four main causes, why are we increasing the speed limit? I just have a problem with that and I just wanted to bring it to you guys' attention. Moving along, I also want to talk about this. Okay, so the soccer game with Jamaica versus Canada. Let me tell her this something. I find that to be very, very, very disheartening. And I'll tell you what. A couple of years ago, I went to Brazil, was playing with, I think it's Poland. I should have done I forget. But anyways, it was indoor. Okay, I brought like three kids with me. We had fun, whatever. This was outdoor. Yes, it was freezing that day. Okay. I went to watch and I was like, I'm not doing this. I couldn't. I was freezing. So imagine sunny tropical island and you guys are coming here in this freezing country to play soccer. Come on, man. Come on. You guys like, really? Really? Who is the promoter in this? And look at this guy. Don't get me wrong. Okay. I'm Canadian. What's up, my Jamaican people? But I'm fear. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm, I'm just, yeah, like, we, you, you can't do that. Like, come on, really? Outside, I'm telling you people, I don't want to hear what nobody has to say because I literally went and I was like, I can't do this. I'm not sitting in a stand like this trying to enjoy the game. I was like, what? So I just wanted to bring that to the attention, okay? Another thing that is happening in our city that is kind of pissing me off is Mark Sanders, okay? Yes, he was the chief of police. He quit. He do after he took the knee with all this and then decide now he wants to run for Don Valley um, in the new upcoming election. Like, really? We don't care. Like, I know, I know you guys are going to be like, oh, my God, Black History Month just got, well, guess what? It's April 1st. Get used to it. But this is not a joke. This is serious, okay? He wants to run. I'm like, why? You are undercover police. You were on the police force for 30-something years. The Black Lives Matter wanted to meet you to have a conversation based on the gentleman that was, you know, shot by police due to mental health illness etc you didn't want to meet you decide you were okay with carding then you go against it like what the crime rate went up should i go on i know let's say oh my god no i'm just here it is what it is and now you want to run in dunn valley west because kathleen Wynne decides she's no longer gonna um moving on too much politics okay let's start uh, Let's talk about the violence in our city. Why is this happening? Why is there an increase in violence in our city? I always say because of the lack of resources and information. Okay? That's all it is. These youths need program. And they need program with incentives. Incent oh, incentive. My bad. Yes. So if they're going to be in a program, please give them something at the end of the week. Some of all, you want to give these kids granola bar. Like, really? The youth, right now they're smoking, they're doing the most, allegedly. And you want them to come in the program with granola bar? Listen to me. I'm not a cook, but I could make a good pillow. Okay, rice, peas, chicken, all that mix up, you're good to go. I'm not a cook, but I'm sure you could put some <laughs> noodle in a pot and make some chicken soup. Like, come on, man. Granola bar? I got it here. This is why. So what they do? They got to find other ways to make money. Rapping. Some of them, not that I'm saying anything is wrong with that, okay? Some of them have to, you know, be self-employed. Because, again, another thing that does be wrong with the system and situation is when the baby bonus come, give the kids them the money. Why do you think my kid have a credit card and he has no job? Because since he was two, he had an account. So when he got into trouble at 16, guess what? Okay, I'm doing too much. All right. So, but I'm just trying to show you guys. There's ways here, okay? Give the kids so they don't have reason. Every 20, kids come close. Every 28th of the month, all the parents get money. If you're under the age of 18 and you live at home, every 28th, your mother get money. Every 10th of the month, your mother get money. Every end of the month, your mother get money, okay? Because look, at, look, she always in a new wig or something new. You want something too. Oh, yes. I'm being real here. My daughter is 15. She has more money than me sometimes. And she doesn't even want to share. I'm like, I'm broke. She's like, but it's mine. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what? She's like, oh, I need lashes. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, for real. You have an account. When the money come, two go here, two go here. The rest is mine. Oh, yes. <laughs> Buy what you want. You see where I'm going? This is another way to prevent especially our young men from going on the streets and doing the most but anyways that's another subject he has apologized um you know let me just bring it up a little bit more you can google it and see uh, more the also um former prime minister stephen hopper has also apologized the rcmp has apologized for you know residential school and the way they had operated this is a very sensitive topic and i am mindful of how i touch on it the reason i brought this up is to show that forgiveness sometimes we have to learn to forgive which brings me to this okay i know i didn't want to talk about it and there was a reason why you got to also understand that i work 
with youth where the mandate is um, violence prevention. So when things like this happen, I might have an opinion, but I also have to check in with work, like what can I say and not say? The good thing about it, I have the freedom to be myself. They like me for who I am. They understand what I do, and they're like, listen, I also have the unfiltered version that I put for members only. So if you want to see it, you can go there and look. But I just want to tap in into one thing. Will is on my banner, okay? And I'll leave it there because I'll tell you why. Forgiveness, okay? What he did was absolutely wrong. Like, I was in shock. What is wrong with you today? You know, but I think everybody also was in shock. But I said, if you want to hear what I really have to say, you can go um, membership. It's cheap, two ninety nine. Come on, I'm making it easy for you. Take a look, download it, share it with your friends. Um, if you want to hear more, can he be arrested? Absolutely. Would they arrest him? I don't think so. Because if they arrest him, that means Chris has to be subpoenaed to go to court, etc. Let's move on. This has been extremely painful. Moms, dads, parents out there. Okay. I understand. Kids, I get it. Summer is here and we all want to have fun. But please, 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 please. Please be safe out there when you're having fun. I tell people, I have two fear in life. I'm scared of the dark, and I'm scared of something happening to my kids. Like, this is extremely painful. But at the same time, I just wanted to share, okay? Heartbreak and confusion settling in for an area father tonight as he lived. And new tonight, Gabriel Vidal is in studio with us after sitting down with Samson's dad. And Gabby, he says that he found out about his son's death on social media. Yeah, the worst way any parent can find out about their son's death. Now, 14-year-old Tyree Samson was an 8th grade student at a charter school called Career Academy. His dad, who lives in the Metro East, tells me Tyree lived with his mother in Berkeley, Missouri. He says they raised an incredible son with big dreams and an even bigger Hard. Where do I go from here? Ain't no sleeping. Ain't no way. A father devastated after losing his teenage son. He's a big teddy bear, gentle dog. He was, he was a good, good young man. Yarnell Samson says 14 year old Tyree Samson was respectful, a good student, and passionate about going pro in football. He was 6'5, 325. At 14 years old, you know, playing left tackle, so that, that's a prime position. You know, plus he had very, he got NFL mentors, so he was definitely on the right path. Mm -hmm. I was gonna put him in a blue chip camp myself. Just something, he the next big ticket. He was the next big thing out the loop. Yarnell says Tyree was in Florida training with his teammates and coaches through the STL Bad Boys football program, but also taking time off to have some fun. Well, I was one of the last people to find out. I found that early this morning. The father didn't learn Tyree fell off an amusement park ride at Icon Plaza in Orlando until after watching a viral video taken of the fall. Okay, Yarnell, not only heartbroken, but also upset he wasn't there to protect his son. Then somebody have a few answers they need to ask, you know, because I definitely got some questions. Why are those questions? You know, why, why was he not properly put in the, the seat, the, the seat and thing right. Maybe he was too big to get on that ride. You know? Or maybe they weren't doing their job. It's those questions racing through his mind as investigators start looking into the theme park ride Tyree got on, not knowing it would be the last thing he would do. They could have stopped the, the, the roller coaster at the top. They could have had somebody uh, uh, put EFT paramedics. The fire department came up there could have rescued anything. They have to let the young man fall. But for now, Yarnell says his focus is keeping his son's memory alive, ensuring his death will prevent any similar tragedies moving forward. <laughs>